since the other day we gave you eight signs that you're never gonna make it as a rapper in 2023, we're gonna flip it to the positive today and give you eight signs that you're gonna make it as a rapper in 2023. As mentioned before, when we say make it, we mean have a healthy, sustained, full-time career as a rapper. We're not just talking about one-hit wonders who within two years of their hit are caught on TMZ selling their Lambo to pay for legal fees. We're talking about the ability to do this full-time, traveling the world, living the life you want to live. It doesn't have to mean some big charting success. I mean, it can mean personal success as you define it. So with that being said, here are eight signs you're going to make it as a rapper in 2023. Let's start in countdown order. Number eight sign you're going to make it as a rapper in 2023 is people who hear your music are actively offering to help you. This is probably the biggest indication of all. Look, if you play your music for people even somewhat regularly and nobody is offering to help produce your content, shoot your videos, telling their friends about you or anything like that, then that is a serious sign you have work to do on the music front. The real motto you should live by is people become fans based on their actions, not on their words. Almost every successful artist you can think of, from Drake to Kendrick to whoever, has a team full of people that they grew up with, not only because once they got on, it was an opportunity to work with a friend, but also because they truly believed in their talent. On a more personal note, I had a close friend who is a multi-platinum producer who recently secured a deal worth a lot of commas, let's just put it that way. This friend has no reason to encourage me to do music, and yet he sends me free beats all the time, even as a multi-platinum producer, and tells me to write to them. Another friend of mine is a multi-millionaire who personally wants to finance my career. Another friend is offered numerous times to do all my video work, but he lives in another city. But anyway, I'm not saying that to brag. In fact, I probably should use those resources more, but I, I like the coaching better. But you get the main point. These people are going out of the way to offer their services because they believe in the music. If you have several friends offering to work for you for free until you get on, or every single time you go to a party, you have a friend trying to throw your songs on no matter what the DJ is playing, you're gonna make it as a rapper. Seventh sign you're gonna make it as a rapper in 2023 is you know what it's like to write and record until you're literally nauseous. Rap coaches don't talk about this enough. Artists, if you have not been through a studio or writing session that pushes for so long, you almost wanna step into the bathroom and spill your guts, there's work to be done. I have numerous memories of writing four, five, six, seven hours a day straight even when we were broke because I could feel the lyrics and flows starting to melt together. Another example, I got off a 15 country world tour a few years back while recording an album city to city. That's actually not that uncommon for a full-time artist. In any case, you can imagine with all the party and jet lag and what little sightseeing we were able to get done, the last thing I wanted to do was record and write with my voice and brain all hung over and tired, but we had been paid to record and write so we had to do it so if you're an artist that knows what it's like to keep doing it even when you're exhausted to get to that last perfect take to finish the song like all the greats from tupac to wayne to kanye to eminem did then you're gonna make it if you want to learn the exact step-by-step -step framework on how to go from an amateur bedroom rapper, as we call it, to a full-time professional music career in just six weeks, pick up the Rap Tycoon Artist Development course by clicking the first link in the video description, and we will show you how to do just that in just 30 minutes a day so you can still accomplish your dreams even if you're still in school or have a job you feel that's holding you back. Sixth sign you're going to make it as a rapper in 2023 is you are aware that the chorus is the most important part of the song. This is a huge one that separates the men from the boys, the women from the girls. There are a lot of artists that believe that the average fan consumes music like them. And what I mean by this is they believe that the average fan is listening to LA Leakers freestyles and Five Fingers of Death on a daily and is only concerned with bars, 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 or that they literally only listen to the beat and nothing else, neither which is true. The fact of the matter is the average fan is looking for a song that they can sing or rap along to that speaks directly to the emotional state they are in. Again, they are looking for something they can rap along or sing along to that speaks to an emotional state that they are in when they listen to it. So when you have a difficult to repeat or memorize chorus or a bunch of confusing lyrics and overblown verses, you're breaking both of those rules. 
even if you're a Nas type artist or Kendrick inspired MC, you're gonna make it if you demonstrate an ability to use the chorus to speak to your target audience first and then let the verses, no matter how lyrical, flesh out further facets of the emotion you're discussing. The vast majority of your fans, the people who will spend thousands of dollars a year on your career, listen to your music at parties, while driving, when they're partying, while all of that good stuff, basically the times in which they are not hyper focused on bar 19 in the second verse these are the times they are excited to belt out the chorus while stuck in traffic or grabbing a shorty on their way for the evening whatever remember that almost 90 percent of rappers i come across who haven't made it simply do not know how to make a chorus to save their lives you on the other hand will make it if you can pull this off fifth sign you're gonna make it as a rapper in 2023 is you can identify the difference between a hit making level producer and an amateur producer. This is another huge music related one. A lot of artists on the come up I hear are choosing beats with weak snares, poor kick drum layering, and rickety sounding instruments. When I run across an artist I think who's gonna make it, almost before they even start rapping, I can tell they know something about music due to the quality of production. You are definitely more than half the way there if you can identify the difference between professional quality beats and an average one. If you need help with tightening up your beat selection, be sure to check out our Hit Records Hot Beat Song Structure and Beat Selection course, which comes as a free bonus by clicking the second link in the video description. Fourth sign you're going to make it as a rapper in 2023 is you enjoy being the center of attention and or it makes you break out of your shell. The way this is worded might be a little touchy feely or sound a little bit lame, but trust me, You'd be surprised how many so-called artists say they want to do music or are passionate about being a star and can't even keep their composure when asked to perform or play some of their tracks. I've worked with a lot of very successful people from influencers with millions of followers to rich businessmen hosting seminars. And regardless of if they were a bit shy one on one, one thing they all had in common was they came alive when they were the center of attention, whether that be on a stage or just holding court during a group conversation. If you like being the main object of the social event, you're going to make it as a rapper. Number three sign you're going to make it as a rapper in 2023 is you are not very judgmental about different forms of music. Note, I said very. I mean, obviously, there are plenty of artists who think that other artists are trash, but for the most part, actual successful musicians who do this full time and collaborate a lot are fans of many, many different types of music and have a mutual respect for anyone who's gotten good enough to make money off their cred. And yes, when I say this, I'm looking at you, Lyrical Miracle fans who spend more time complaining about how much rap sucks now in comment boxes and forums. And on the flip side, I'm looking at you, I'm not a rapper, trap fans who can barely string a sentence together and everybody has blood on their hands. From Kevin Gates and Joel Santana praising their polar opposite Eminem to J. Cole recently praising Young Thug to much controversy, the vast majority of successful rappers have studied the many different styles in this beautiful culture of hip-hop that allows us to make good music. Additionally, having an open mind about other forms of music will help you with your beat selection, especially in this era of genre bending. So if you're an artist that can draw influences from almost any form of music, you're gonna make it as a rapper. Again, a great place to start is our song structure course where you get four hours of free bonus coaching, which you can get by visiting the second link in the video description. Second sign you're gonna make it as a rapper in 2023 is you have an artistic eye when it comes to graphic design, fashion, and etc. This is extremely underrated. To be honest, when a rapper follows me on Instagram, I can almost tell by the thumbnail of their picture whether they're gonna be successful or not. I'm right like 70% of the time in this case. I mean, if I click their profile and scroll through a couple pictures, I'm right like 95% of the time. I know this sounds crazy, but the inability to even identify what a picture or properly fitting clothing looks like often indicates a lack of creative ability in other areas. Additionally, fashion pretty much goes hand in hand with hip hop. And when I say fashion, I'm not just talking about Gucci or Prada or whatever. That stuff only became cool in hip hop in like the last 15 to 20 years. Even back in the rap stone ages, the Rakims and the Wu-Tangs of the world had a very strong fashion based artistic eye for how they presented themselves even if it was just meant to be grungy. The vast majority of struggle rappers I see online literally look like they're struggling. Their graphics are off and extremely low quality and their pictures look like they were taken by Mr. Magoo. 
I'm not sure if this comes off from a lack of social awareness or just pure lack of creativity, but I challenge artists to really spend a little bit more time educating themselves on how to properly present themselves to an audience in a compelling way. And the number one sign you're gonna make it as a rapper in 2023 is you've made a decision that you won't stop until you die. This is actually underrated believe it or not, underrated. I see a lot of artists that continue to make music with no direction, no purpose, and go two, three, four months without doing anything to further their career. And yes, two to three months in this modern era might as well be two to three years. You already heard 50 Cent give you the game more than 10 years ago. You have to make a decision to do this or die trying. So if you're an artist that has truly made the leap of faith, you're gonna make it. As crazy as it sounds, I would actually suggest going to somewhere by yourself, that could be your bedroom, the beach, the forest, whatever, go to a place and swear to yourself that you won't give in until you've made it. Even the act of just doing that will force you to refocus. Now, I wanna see you in the comments, which of the reasons have you been living up to recently? You clicked on this video for a reason, so there's probably one that you really related to. I want to see you in the comments. It's the big homie Drew. I really appreciate you watching. Pick up those free courses, and I'll see you on the next one.